In Japan, a sea airport with a value exceeding $25 billion is currently grappling with a sinking crisis. Some engineers express concerns that this airport may vanish from existence within 50 years. The narrative also carries a significant cautionary message for China. So what unfolded in Japan? Japan, amidst its rapid economic development, faced a pressing need for additional airports. However, the country's limited land area, predominantly characterized by mountains and hills, prompted Japanese engineers to explore unconventional solutions. To address the developmental needs of the Kansai region, Japan initiated land reclamation in Osaka Bay, southwest of Osaka, to construct the world's inaugural sea-floating airport, Japan Kansai International Airport. After five years of land reclamation, the Japanese government commenced the construction of the airport on the artificial island in 1987. With a total investment of 25 billion US dollars, the project unfolded in two phases. The T1 terminal building designed by Japanese architect Tanaki Okabe and Italian architect Renzo Piano comprised glass and metal stretching 1.7 kilometers with a total area exceeding 290,000 square meters. Simultaneously, a 3,500 meter long, 61 meter wide airport runway was established. Kansai International Airport was commissioned in 1996. Subsequently, in the second phase of the expansion project, a 4,000 meter long second airport runway was added and the construction of the T2 terminal building commenced. The entire project concluded in 2012. Since its completion, Kansai International Airport has significantly contributed to the development of the Kansai area, attracting tourists and investors with passenger numbers surpassing 31.92 million by 2019. However, despite its economic contributions, Kansai International Airport has faced a persistent risk since its inception, the sinking of the airport. Many engineers argue that the selection of the construction location was flawed. The seabed beneath the artificial island with an average thickness of 15 to 25 meters has experienced natural settling, causing the airport to sink. Over 20 years, the artificial island has sunk more than 30 centimeters and continues to sink at a rate of 6 centimeters per year. Additionally, the accelerating sea level rise due to global warming poses a further threat, with predictions suggesting the airport might sink within 50 years. In an effort to combat this issue, Japan initially installed 906 columns and jack systems on the airport's base during construction. These jacks were designed to lift the entire airport when the island sank, simultaneously constructing a high wall to prevent seawater ingress. However, the continuous rise in sea levels necessitates ongoing financial investments to maintain the airport. Some U.S. engineers still believe that Kansai International Airport may sink within the next 50 years, sending a warning to China. This cautionary tale has influenced China's approach to airport construction. In Dalian, faced with a crowded original international airport, China invested 26 billion renminbi to construct a sea airport using the offshore reclamation method inspired by Japan's Kansai International Airport. Despite the risks highlighted by the sinking of the Japanese airport, Chinese engineers have incorporated new technologies. Strict seabed surveys are conducted during land reclamation, avoiding locations with sinking silt layers. The Tiankun is utilized for reclamation operations, absorbing sand and crushing stones on the seabed to create a solid foundation. China's Dalian Maritime Airport, estimated to be completed by 2025, represents a groundbreaking endeavor in infrastructure construction. The project is expected to significantly impact the development of the Dalian area, providing employment opportunities. Chinese engineers employ various techniques, including sand blowing, to fill the sea, preventing foundation subsidence, and ensuring the safety of the land reclamation project. Despite these advancements, the uncertainties of climate change and geological disasters pose inherent risks to sea-based infrastructure projects. While China's Dalian offshore airport represents a pioneering effort, 
the future remains unpredictable and unforeseen challenges may arise, potentially echoing the predicament faced by Japan's Kansai International Airport in the coming decades or centuries. As humans strive to push the boundaries of constructing extensive infrastructures at sea, there looms the acknowledgement that considerable risks are inherent in such endeavors. While the ongoing efforts by Chinese engineers in Dalian showcase innovative techniques and stringent precautions to minimize potential hazards, the future remains uncertain. It is worth noting that despite China's proactive measures in land reclamation, such as conducting comprehensive seabed surveys and utilizing advanced technologies like the Tiankun, the unpredictability of climate change and geological disasters may pose challenges that surpass current preventative measures. The sinking crisis faced by Japan's Kansai International Airport serves as a stark reminder of the complex and dynamic nature of marine environments. Looking ahead, the trajectory of sea-based infrastructure projects is influenced by the evolving global climate and environmental conditions. The accelerating sea level rise, coupled with the potential for unforeseen geological events, underscores the need for continuous vigilance and adaptation in construction methodologies. The unfolding chapters of this narrative will likely witness ongoing advancements in construction methodologies, environmental monitoring, and adaptation strategies. Whether the lessons learned from Japan's experience will shape the future practices of nations venturing into sea-based projects or whether unforeseen challenges will necessitate further innovations, only time will reveal. In this dynamic landscape, the story of sea airports serves as a microcosm of the broader challenges humanity faces in managing its impact on the environment while striving for progress. The evolving relationship between infrastructure development and environmental stewardship will continue to shape the narratives of coastal cities, prompting reflection and adaptation in the face of an ever-changing world. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here. Yeah. <laughs>